What's going on you guys? It's your boy Alter Rum here, back in the building with another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shade. And before I get started, I just want to say, I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is keeping their heads up. And yes, we know that all lives matter. But right now, in this moment, in this reality, with everything that we're seeing on TV, there is one specific race of people that is being killed by horrible individuals and police officers, okay? And so right now, bitch, Black Lives Matter. Uh, if your specific race of people are being killed by police officers, uh, please do your due diligence and show us and report to us the Caucasian on Caucasian crime, please, okay? The white on white crime. Please give us the information, you know, and documentation of white officers killing other white men please and with that being said you guys let's go ahead and get into the june 1st edition of monday night raw so monday night raw kicks off with the monday night messiah and his disciples bitch but right by his side we we got a small recap of what happened last week uh and what happened to Rey mysterio's eye <laughs> seth is coming out preaching to us, preaching us to death about how he is going to retire Rey Mysterio and deliver a retirement speech to us. Uh, he says that Rey Mysterio was sacrificed for the greater good. And I love how the entire audience was just, just like booing Seth Rollins, bitch. Nobody was going up for Seth Rollins, but Seth Rollins created a video packet for Rey Mysterio. I guess it was a send off for Rey. And, and and Seth, I mean, this guy's crazy. He has gone absolute looney tune. I, I'm thinking he has drunk too much, uh, too much holy water. <laughs> I really don't know. After the uh, video packet, well, no. Let me talk about the video packet real quick because it was cute at first. It started out really, really good, but then it just ended abruptly with Rey Mysterio getting his eyes poked out. <laughs> Well, the one, I'm sorry, getting his eye poked out. And it was just like, bitch, that was that was shady in itself. Uh, Seth Rollins even said that he wanted to induct Rey Mysterio into the Hall of Fame. It's just like, girl, what? Good thing Aleister Black came out. Aleister Black ran out to the ring and just started wailing on Seth Rollins. I did not know that Rey Mysterio was like his mentor. So you guys, Seth Rollins and Aleister Black are having their match. Uh, and Seth Rollins is kind of getting the best of Aleister Black and Seth Rollins signals to the disciples to attack Aleister. Humberto comes out with a steel chair and Seth kind of signals for the boys to hold off and so they continue their match. And around about four commercials later, okay, Seth Rollins tells the disciples again to uh, hold Aleister Black down as they've gotten the best of him while he delivers a curb stomp to Humberto. And then Seth Rollins delivers a curb stomp to Aleister Black. And bitch, when I tell you that was a curb stomp, that was a curb stomp, bitch. That was a massive curb stomp. Uh, shouts out to Samoa Joe uh, for being on the Raw talk show that was announced during Raw tonight. I absolutely have to ask you guys, this whole thing between Caruso and Garza, what's going on here? I've noticed that they've had this kind of chemistry thing build over the past couple of months, honestly. Um, he continuously is giving her a rose. Um, but tonight, Zelina Vega took the rose uh, from Caruso. I thought that was kind of shady. Uh, shouts out to Zelina Vega as well. She was serving looks tonight, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, but will this storyline really, like, go anywhere? Like, will Charlie possibly get in a match between Zelina Vega? Like, yeah, I would maybe like to see Caruso get in the ring and walk the dogs on Zelina. We had a, another promo tonight for the greatest match ever with Shawn Michaels. I really didn't pay no attention. Uh, by the time I got back into the TV show, it's absolutely no shade. Uh, Lana has slapped the shit out of MVP. Uh, and I really wish I was paying attention during this time. So yeah, Apollo Crews is scheduled to fight Kevin Owens. Him and Kevin Owens are fighting and Andrade and Garza come out and so Kevin Owens is on teams with Apollo Crews. I'm just trying to figure out how I feel about all of this. Like, did it 
put Apollo Crews over and just make his championship more with this happening? Or could he maybe have just had the one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens and beat Kevin Owens and retained? <laughs> I'm not really, I, 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 I don't know how I feel about that. But next we had the bowling segment with the Viking Raiders and Street Profits. And we had the Iconas win against Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Okay, now let's get into the goods, bitch, with Rey Mysterio and this uh, in-home interview he did with WWE. We go live to a home interview with Rey Mysterio, bitch, okay? Michael Cole and Samoa Joe are asking him questions, probing him about when is he going to be able to get back in the ring, and uh, honestly and truthfully, Rey Mysterio really don't even know himself uh he doesn't know when he'll be able to get back in the ring and i really even never thought about his eye being infected uh ooh. i really never thought about that like that definitely is something that could end his career like bitch indefinitely but anyway bitch we get to the juicy part Rey mysterio is talking about how he don't know if he's coming back and all this and all that and bitch Dominique chimes in. Ooh! Did you guys see Dominique's face, bitch? I'm gonna leave it up here for y'all to look at real quick. Get into that face, okay? He's mad, bitch, okay? <laughs> Seth Rollins can get his ass kicked, bitch. Dominique chimes in mid father's interview with WWE commentator Samoa Joe and Michael Cole, calling out Seth Rollins for his BS. Hashtag, damn you, Seth Rollins. You've destroyed my whole entire family, bitch. But it's absolutely no shade, though. I, I, I do hope we get to see Dominique in the ring sometime soon. I don't know if it'll be during COVID or not, but <laughs> I hope we get to see him sometime soon because he leaves a message for Seth Rollins telling him that he knows scripture and he goes on to say an eye for an eye. What is that scripture? I'm pretty sure somebody let me know in the comment section below me. <laughs> you guys, you... <laughs> You have to forgive me for this one. I'm going to try to hold in the laughter, but bitch, as soon as I saw that this match was announced, I just knew within my bones, of my bones, bitch, that somebody was going to get injured. <laughs> oh God, I I'm, I'm so sorry, but it's just like, bitch, how much is y'all going to put Carrie's thing through, bitch? I feel like, She's trying out to be on a fraternity, bitch. I feel like it's always haze week for Kyrie thing, bitch. It's just like, <laughs> anyway. Nia Jax comes out. She's on the mic, calling Oscar's championship belt uh, a gift, more like a fluke, saying that Becky Lynch pretty much had to give it to her because you know Becky Lynch is pregnant. Blah 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 blah. blah. And. Nia Jax and Kyrie Zayn have a match. Like, you guys, it's no shade. I could look at Kyrie Zayn's gear and kind of tell she wasn't going to win tonight, but I just did not know things were going to go in that way. I feel like Kyrie Zayn has just been through it, bitch. I mean, really. I mean, <laughs> Charlotte, Nia. I mean, I, I, how can y'all just think off the top of y'all head how many people Nia may have injured in the ring? I'm just trying to, I'm just ain't trying to start nothing or nothing like that, you know. I'm just trying to figure out, I mean, <laughs> it's her wrestling skill, it's the people in the ring. I mean, I'm a thing. I don't want to say that I don't like her. I, I like Nia Jax. I like her style. I like heel Nia Jax. But with these injuries, it's just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Are we gonna go back to the performance center and clean some things up, or what are we gonna do? Are we just gonna, just gonna continue to injure everybody? I don't know. Maybe I have it wrong, or maybe I'm just seeing it wrong. Maybe, I mean, I don't know, was it Kyrie Zane's fault, maybe? Did she not prep herself in time enough? I mean, did she not catch the steel steps in time enough? I mean, connecting with her head and forehead and face and skin, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Asuka comes out to check on her friend Kyrie Zhang and her and Nia Jax have this like intense stare down and Nia Jax just walks off to the back uh, and honestly after that you guys my sling uh, app started messing up bitch and I didn't know whether if I was coming or going um, I couldn't get nothing to work everything was freezing and finally it connected again and turned back on next thing I knew Asuka was in the ring with Charlotte Flair and I'm just like <laughs> Bitch, wait a minute, 
Ain't she supposed to be over at NXT? I mean, she's just the workhorse of WWE now, period. Oscar and Charlotte are in the match, and to me, I thought this match was pretty good. Um, both ladies were walking the dogs on each other. Um, by the time I was able to get into the match, um, Oscar had put like a series of like arm bars and arm locks on Charlotte, and I kind of thought that Oscar was paying homage to the man, Becky Lynch. Uh, Mrs. Prego back at home uh, and I thought it was pretty cool um, and you know there too was a time where Charlotte was getting the best of Oscar and just as Oscar was getting herself together bitch okay just as Oscar was coming to Oscar music drops and we pan to the ring entrance and then we pan to the ramp entrance excuse me and bitch, it's Nia Jax decked out in Oscar's gear, bitch. I'm talking mask and face paints and all, bitch. Nia Flapjacks. I could not believe Mrs. Nia Jax trying to stunt in Oscar's gear. I mean, it looked kind of good and everything. The face paints was kind of good, but damn. Nia Jax has it out for Oscar and Kyrie Zane, bitch. I just don't even know uh, what to think. But this gets uh, Oscar disqualified in her match with Charlotte as she gets a count out after Nia Jax revealed that it was her <laughs> of course she knew it was her by the silhouette alone but anyway <laughs> uh, after Nia Jax revealed that it was her she came down and clotheslined Oscar and so uh, if I'm not mistaken Oscar got a count out and now we get to this whole thing with Lana Bobby Lashley and MVP Lana girl <laughs> Lana is crazy <laughs> Lana is crazy. I feel like this is the woman scorn, bitch. I feel like this is the diary of a mad white woman, bitch. I don't even know what to say. Bobby don't want you no more. MVP <laughs> done played you. Lana up to her no good ways, I guess. I, I don't know if she's trying to get back at Lashley or get back at MVP or what, but she came out anyway. Her husband told her to stay back and she came out anyway. Like I said, he tied her, MVP tied. Everybody just tied. I want to touch on that red lipstick though. She was giving me it. The lipstick was just literally all over her face, damn near about. Lana has gone full blown psycho, psycho, crazy killer clown. She's she's serving American Horror Story with that lipstick. I can't even take it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was the main event. Um, McIntyre won. <laughs> yeah. And, but we end Raw with uh, Bobby Lashley putting him in the full Nelson. So, I don't really know what's going on with all of this. I mean, I thought Raw was okay tonight, but if I had to give it a rating, y'all know like I do, bitch. One being the wackest, ten being the best. I would have to probably give Raw like a four or maybe a five tonight. Only because of the Nia Jax stunt and Charlotte. Eh, okay. <laughs> there are other wrestlers on the roster, bitch. Again, like... <laughs> IDK. I guess they're just going to use everybody to be in the audience. We also, to you guys, had the 24-7 champ segment with our truth and Rogowski, Rakowski, Kronk, Gronk. Okay, yeah. Um, we also had the message from Randy Orton to Edge. Like I said, this is going to be the greatest match ever. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, Raw was Raw tonight, I guess you could say. Um, we're just going to send prayers out. We're just going to send our thoughts uh, and, and, and prayers to Kyrie Zane, wherever she may be injured. I have no idea. But if she's injured, like, the the information that's coming out now saying that she's injured, then law. WWE, somebody going to have a lawsuit on their hands pretty soon, bitch. Or is it in the clause? Is it in the contract that they can't argue about if they get injured? <laughs> they can't sue if they get injured? I don't know. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this sick and late edition of Wrestle Shade. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Once you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification.